The PlayStation Vita from Sony costs $250 with just Wi-Fi or $300 if you want 3G also. I'm here with Matt Ferretti, our video game expert at Consumer Reports. Matt, what does it offer? So the PlayStation Vita kind of combines uh, the best features from smartphones and tablets along with mobile gaming. It's got dual analog thumbsticks, which a lot of these other devices don't have, which really adds another layer of control for gaming. It also has a, a rear touch panel on the back of the unit, which also adds another level of versatility. You can rent or buy movies on here, or you can also listen to music. And there's also two cameras, one facing front and one facing back. What are those for? But the cameras can be used for taking photos or videos, but uh, most people will probably use them for, for apps like Facebook and Skype and also for augmented reality gaming, which allows you to play a game using the cameras to make it appear like these characters are in your living room or in your office. What about the games? Uh, how does the lineup look? The lineup looks great for the Vita. It's got games like Uncharted the Golden Abyss, Mod Nation Racers, and Little Deviants. So it really has something for everybody. And how do you get the games onto the device? You can either uh, buy the game cards physically from a store, or you can download them directly from the PlayStation Store. It's actually a little cheaper to get the digital copies from the PlayStation Store. And what about the operating system? Is this easy to use? The operating system is really easy to use, especially for anyone who's used a smartphone or tablet before. Uh, the apps kind of appear as bubbles on the screen, which you can customize any way you want. Uh, just tap it to open an app, and which you can leave running in the background, or you just peel it away and it's gone. So what do you think? Is this a worthy competitor to the Nintendo 3DS? Yeah, it's definitely going to be a competitor for the 3DS. Um, they didn't go 3D on this model, but it includes a lot of features that the 3DS didn't, and the, the graphics are much better on this system. Thanks so much, Matt. I'm Amber Tentoff for Consumer Reports.